Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Infinite Fusion playthrough. Last episode we stormed Silphco in Saffron City and we had a showdown with our rival before then um, having another showdown with Giovanni. Giovanni was actually really tough. It's a double battle with um, your rival and for some reason he just targets your Pokemon really, not really the rivals. But we got it done in the end, so now we've got a Master Ball and we can look at taking on the gym. But before we do that, I'm just going to do another fusion. So I'm getting rid of Ryzard because why not? And we're then going to fuse it with Lapras as I just feel like it would be a lot better. So fuse will use a super splices. And I think yeah, water fire is the one we want. So let's see what this looks like. And there we go, Lapizard. I actually quite like it. People have driven Lapizard almost at the point of extinction. It breathes intense flames that can melt any material. And then we're going to go water absorb. And we'll just go neutral nature. Um, I suppose you can get rid of Dragon Rage. Water pulse for Fire Fang. Get rid of Slash. No point setting up rain. And then we add this to the team. It's level 45. How is it so high level? But yeah, that, that should be our team now. I think the only one that we're probably going to look at swapping is Houndchoke. But apart from that, I do like the rest. Although Mr. King could also probably get swapped. So let's start looking around Saffron, see what we can find. I was saving this to use on Togepi once it evolves, but it doesn't seem to like me much. So I don't think it will ever happen. Here, you might need it more than I do. Oh, shiny stone. Hey, I'm trying to watch a movie here. Here, just take this and leave me alone. Oh, thank you. I'll take the cookie. Oh, there's a load of people up here. Lucky you, good things will come to you soon for sure. Did you just read our fortune? My grandparents are obsessed with horoscopes, but I don't see what the fuss is about, it's just a bunch of made up nonsense. Yeah, I, I'm not like a big, big believer. You beat Team Rocket all alone, that's amazing. I saw the Rocket Boss escape in Sills building. Did you know? Which way did he go? The Pokedex is a fantastic device. Professor Oak truly is a genius. Why does it start with nine species that aren't even found anywhere in the region? After millions of years of humans living alongside Pokemon, one would think that we would have started documenting them much earlier. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Do you want me to teach me Dragon Pulse? Uh, no, thank you. No, it's just full of trash. There's nothing really in here, unless you want to learn Dragon Pulse. This gym used to be the real deal, but they got shut down when Sabrina came to town. Fighting types just can't compete against psychic types. Okay, well, we're going to lead off with Mr. King. Is it double battles? Yeah, it is. So Magnachoke. Oh my god, how good does that Magnachoke look? And we'll dig the Magnachoke. And then you got Mansur. Which we can psychic. And we don't want to learn Dreamy, thank you. 
out comes a manchoke, which looks terrible. Judge one point, oof, I give up. That's him taking you down. Okay, I weren't expecting you to come forward. Okay, you just lead off from a choke. Level 46 though. Why have the levels suddenly jumped so high? A Primler. Okay, so it's a Kingler and a Primate. Kind of looks quite good actually. Um, we need to heal. Or we can switch predicting the close combat. Right then, sucker punch. Okay, sucker punch. Is it gonna actually attack? Heal up with some hyper potions and continue. Actually, you know what? He's in the way. I want to do that as a double battle. Nothing tough finds me. I'll break boulders for training. Whoa, take your shoes off. So we've got a hair ape and a far chop, which actually look quite good. Okay, we'll psychic you. Back will tell you. And same again. And down they both go. A grab wrath and a right choke. And psychic you and I suppose we could dig against you. Oh, Grave Rat's gone. And more Magical Leaf. I thought that was going to come short then. Oh, it's evolving. Oh, it's so good. That just looks amazing, like top tier fusion. Wants to learn Shadow Punch. Um, see, I'm not really sure. I suppose we could get rid of Horn Attack. And then we'll heal up one more time. And then take on the Karate Master. You wish to challenge us, expect no mercy. What? So Black Belt Koichi. <clears throat> is that Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan fusion? I think it is. That Blaze Kick did a lot. And what else can we go into? You know, we'll go again, Ross. <laughs> that actually looks quite funny. Okay, then how much does a shadow ball do? Not much. We'll work up first. And then one more should take it out. Hitmon Lee. Go for the same. Ooh, blaze kick. Um, we'll go froggy. Spark. This hit money is bulky. And there we go. Got rid of it. Ah, oh, beaten. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you. Do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Um, definitely hit one chance. Can 
can we not just take the others? No. Okay then, so... I think... You there want to buy something? He definitely weren't here before. Guarantees critical hits but halves accuracy. Um, no, thank you. Although I know no guard, that would be pretty good. So, we'll run back and heal. And then we'll look at trying to take on Sabrina. I'm a little worried though that we're starting to fall behind on levels. What's down here? Oh. Nice meal at a nice quiet restaurant with my wife. What else could I ask for? Hmm, this food is quite exquisite. I've got a potion of all things. Om nom nom nom, faster. Om nom nom nom. Lickitung and I are training for an eating contest but I simply can't keep up. I'm not really surprised. One free meal every day, that's her promotion. Enjoy your meal. Okay, what's that do? It tastes fantastic. Okay. I don't really know what it's for, but... Anyway, let's carry on to um, Sabrina. Oh, there's another hotel. Fuse a weak Pokemon with a stronger Pokemon, then unfuse them. That's the easiest way of raising a weak Pokemon effortlessly. Okay, what, what have we got in here? So it looks like it's four. Love see exotic Pokemon. I'll give you something if you can show me a Pokemon that's native to the Sinnoh region. How dis disastrous. I was walking my eight Growlithe when we were attacked by a pack of Fero. Now my Growlithe run in different directions. I can't find any of them. You help me find them. They're probably scaved around in the routes around the city. There's a rumour of an invisible Pokemon roaming about in Saffron City. It's last been seen in the eastern part of the city. You could probably go have a look if you wanted. I'm a fossils enthusiast. Did you know that you can find rare bones when smashing rocks using Rock Smash? I've ever found one in Rock Torn and it's been taunting me ever since. If only I could find one myself, but they really live up to the name. They truly are rare. If you can find one rare bone, please bring it to me. I promise I'll make it worth your while. I'm pretty sure I have found one of them before, but we would have sold it. So there's a Pokemon to the east that's invisible. I don't really know where that could actually be. Because it'd kind of be blocking you, wouldn't it? Oh well, we probably ain't got time, but we'll head to the mart, see what we can buy. Um, we might as well buy some of these. And then just buy these for diffusing. Ultra balls, we could do some more. Definitely high potions. And more revives. Pretty much got no money left. And what do you sell? Friend balls and then just gems. Okay then. So, is that the gym? What's this building? Be waiting forever. When will this try and get here? I've had it, that guy over there is sitting next to the only power outlet in the entire station, he's not even using it. I need charging for him before I get on the train. The train here will take you to Gordon Rod City in Johto, but you need a train pass. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a train in there. A scientist from Cinnabar Island came in before me and brought the last train pass. Okay, so there's nothing you can actually do in here. And take on this gym. Yo, champion of the making. Sabrina's Pokemon use psychic, po psychic power instead of force. You'll have to use good strategies or your Pokemon will get cream before they can even aim a punch. Take this. Okay. So we've got to try and navigate through this little puzzle. Psychic camera with a drow poke. That magical leaf doesn't do too much. 
and then it's going to slack off as well. Okay, one more. Then my bro. Ooh, that looks really good. Like, really good. Also deals way too much damage. Going to Lapizard. Body Slam. There go, got Crisis. Oh, you stupid Pokemon. And you just took yourself out. I'll take that. Wants to learn Zen Headbutt. I think we are actually a, more of an attacking Pokemon. We'll go with a Shadow Ball. And a Cadapoke. Okay, go Gen Ross. That looks terrible. And Shadow Punch. Ooh, it survived. I lost my concentration. Okay, I think it might be worth leading with this. And then you can have the XP share. But we do need to heal. Thankfully I brought more high potions. So we'll continue right. Just gonna keep going right. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then, I can tell. A weeping bra. Looks quite funny. Um Shadow Punch. A slow tar. <laughs> That's also funny. Ooh. So you're not um, psychic type, you must be water fire and the polymine. You can shadow punch that. Sucker punch, finish it off. Just continue going right. Sabrina's younger than I, but I have nothing but respect for her. An Alate, that's an Alaka Salmon, a Ghastly. Um, we'll Shadow Punch you. Frail as anything. A Genra, which is a Gengar and Abra. Kind of looks pretty menacing. Not good enough. Okay, now we'll go left. Up. Down. Oh, this is a new place. And it's a double battle as well. Mr. Bra and Dubro. I quite like them. I, yeah, I think they're quite good. And um, you could be psychic poison so we'll target you actually survived I thought he'd break the game then just stomp a lucky and now we just target down this side I don't believe this. I never foresaw this. Right, one more high potion. Continue up. And there you go. Right, I'm saving in case we have to redo this because I don't fancy tra travelling through all that again. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons in my mind. I dislike fight, but if you wish, I'll show you my powers. We'll use four Pokemon for our battle, choose wisely, or choose carefully. 
Okay, we'll go Gimros, Crocodos, Lapizard, and Froggy. Let's do this, Sabrina. Hit mine. Okay. Let me just go for a workup. Ooh, and you go for the same thing. Let's hope this KO's you, it does. I think we just sweep now. An Ezreon. Okay, so that's an Espeon and an Umbreon. Which means that that's neutral. And that's not. Um, okay, we'll go Crocodose. Aquatail does decent damage and dig. Oh, you scumbag. Okay, we can, we can fully heal as well. Might need to bring Gimros back as well. That does do quite a bit of damage. Okay, we'll max revive Gimros. And then we'll heal up one more time. And Aquatel misses. There you go. Alabro. That is probably the best slow bro in Alakazam fusion I could think of. Ooh, you withdrawing? Ooh, Genkazan? That looks cool as hell. I think we're gonna go out to future site here. Okay, maybe not. Hyper potion. And foul play probably KOs now. Ooh no. Another max potion. And there you go. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. You earn the marsh badge. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earn the marsh badge. So that's seven, no, six badges down. The marsh badge also allows you to use surf outside of a battle to cross bodies of water. Please also take this with you. Got TM for the Soy Shock. This attack uses your Pokemon special attack to inflict physical damage. It's very useful indeed and free premium wonder trades thankfully you can literally just walk out like that so I'm pretty sure now we've got to go to Cinnabar Island so where's the map? do we not have a map? No, we must not have got one. Okay, let's run to the Pokemon Center so we can just double check that we can go from um, Pallet Town. So, you can go from Fuchsia City and go through the Seafoam Islands or just the ride straight at Cinnabar from. Pallet Town, so I think we'll go from Pallet Town and then we can do Seafoam Islands later on maybe but I think this is the perfect place to end the episode so yeah, next episode we'll make our way to Cinnabar Island thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time